Hi, this is uh, Peter Jenkins. Been asked by a few people um, how to use a Photoshop action to apply the Hubble palette uh, color corrections in Photoshop. And uh, in fact, been asked where to find the action that I use, which is called Convert to Hubble. Um, and it's a, it's a quick and easy method of recording um, such an action. We're going to use this photograph which is a recent one. Uh, this is the North America Nebula and the Pelican Nebula taken uh, in Australia or from Australia, a remote telescope from Telescope Live. Uh, they have kindly allowed me to use the images. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to load Photoshop. Okay, we've got uh, Photoshop open and I've loaded the Hydrogen Alpha uh, oxygen and sulfur. I've removed stars from these. That's I think I've shown that in other uh, videos. So we're going to take the hydrogen alpha and no stars. Control C. Oh, sorry. Control A to select it all. Control C to copy it. And then we'll go File, New. And pick a color image, RGB color. I'm going to pick the channels and paste the hydrogen alpha into the green channel which is the double palette we're going to take the sulfur control A to select it all control C to copy it go back to the untitled image and control V to paste it we want the blue channel which is the oxygen control A control C control V to paste it so we've now got a typical Hubble palette image um, to which we need to apply um, some corrections. Now um, you can find these in a number of places and, and it's just to create an action so that you don't have to repeat the steps needed. There are four steps, four color correction steps. Um, I found the ones I'm using on this website uh, which is bf-astro.com Hubble P dot htm uh, Bob Frankie thanks very much uh, for putting this on the website um, this just scrolling down here this is the first correction to make uh, we're making a, a selective color correction to greens then to yellows then to cyans and then again to cyan so there's four actions or four changes that we need to make. Okay, so I'll go back to Photoshop. I'm going to duplicate the layer so as we can see and switch it on and off. And we're going to make the corrections. So you need the actions um, tab here switched on, which I think you can get in here. You just switch it on there. Once you have it on, you can hit this button to create a new action. So we'll call it Hubble C or something, Hubble Corrections, Hubble Color. And we say record. Now we know that we've got to make the first correction, which is reducing, is to select the color greens and reduce the cyan by 100% and the magenta by 25%. So can remember that long enough in fact I'm going to write it down so we go greens cyan minus 20 minus 100 and magenta minus 25 that's the first correction so in Photoshop color range it's not color range is it remember where it was it's an image adjustments selective color this brings up this dialog and we're going to change the greens as we said cyan is minus 100 and magenta minus 25 I think you can actually type in those numbers you can in fact so I'll go to backspace 25 
So that's the first adjustment. OK. Now if we go back to the website, look for the second adjustment, which is to the yellows. And we're going to go cyan minus 100 and magenta plus 25. I've written those down. So back to Photoshop. So image adjustments, selective color, this time to the yellows. Cyan is minus 100 and magenta is plus 25 this time. I'll change it by hand. Plus 25, okay. Um, back to the website for the next adjustments. And these are both to the cyan. The first one is cyan minus 1 and yellow minus 100. And the second one is cyan, and it's the magenta is minus 25, and the yellow minus 100. As you can see, to do this every time is a nuisance. So if you can record it and just automate it, very simple. Resume. So have we frozen? And a bit of a glitch there, so we're back now and image adjustments, selective color, and these are the two final adjustments. Cyan, go to minus one, and yellow, minus a hundred. It's the first one. Okay, and the second one, image adjustments, selective color, cyan again, magenta goes minus 25, and the yellow minus 100. Okay. That's us actually finished recording, so we can hit the stop button. And we have now got a Hubble, power, a Hubble color action set. The one I had originally was Convert to Hubble, so we've now created a new one. So if we actually were to delete that layer, adjustments that we've made, duplicate the layer again, and run that action, the Hubble color, the one we've just created, it will run those actions to create this. I think all I did with then was Control A, Control C, this is the hydrogen alpha, Control V, and pasted that as a luminosity layer. I think I, may, I then made some adjustments to the colors and to the contrast. That's not what the um, subject of this exercise, just to show how that action is created. I hope that's helpful. I'll post this on YouTube with a link to it from my website. Thanks for watching.